Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today will be yet another interesting video because you know, this card, the Easyling card, you don't really need it anymore. You know why? Because now you can use your mobile phones to do your bus rides and your MRT rides. Yep, as simply as that. Stay tuned, we'll learn something new and we'll be back after this. So you know, this Easyling card, it's almost useless now to me. Yep. It's useless. You know why? Recently, Google has added a feature into Google Pay so that it allows Google Pay to be used in bus rides as well as MRT rides in Singapore. How cool is that? So I'm talking about Google Pay, I'm talking about Google and Android. Uh, iPhone fans, iPhone users, you might have to look away for now, right? So bye for now. So if you are still staying tuned to this video, that means you are an Android user, you are a Google user, a Google Pay user, and you want to find out more how to use these for your bus rides as well as your MRT rides, well, great. So what are the things that you need? Number one, you need an NFC enabled phone. Now, how do you find out if your phone has NFC? Well, simply number one, you can just go to your settings and check whether NFC is there. If it's there, that means NFC is there. And number two, if you do not know how to find the NFC in your phone, well, just do a quick Google search, put in your mobile phone brand, the model number, NFC, and then find out if you have NFC or not. For me, I'm using Google Pixel 2, that means I have NFC enabled. In actual fact, if you bought your phone in the last three years, chances are you have NFC inbuilt. Now guys, NFC is not a software, it's a hardware, it's, it comes with when the phone is manufactured. So don't ask me how to download NFC or where to get NFC. If your phone does not have NFC, that means it does not have NFC, okay? It's not something that you can buy. It comes with the phone. Second thing that you need is your credit card or your debit card. All right, so get that on hand. Number three, as a bonus, your EasyLink card, you can chuck it away, you can just throw it away like that. Right, you don't need it anymore, so who cares what happens to it. Now, the process is simple. You just need to link your debit card or your credit card to your Google Pay. If you have already linked your card to your phone, Congratulations, all you need to do is unlock your phone and then tap it on the terminal and the EasyLink terminal on the bus or on the MRT and then you're good to go. So you don't need to carry on watching this video, just do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe and the bell notification and then we can say our goodbyes. If you have not and you want to find out how to link your card to your phone, well, stay tuned because I'm going to do it with you. So first, make sure you have already downloaded the Google Pay onto your phone. If you have not downloaded, go to your App Store and make sure it's downloaded and installed. Open it up and then you see three tabs at the bottom which is Home, Payment and Passes. Press Payment, press Payment Method and this is where you link your card to your phone. There's two ways to go about it. Number one, you can just scan your card using the inbuilt camera in the app and then you need to input the expiry date of your card which can be found at the front of your card. Next is the CVC number which is the three digit code at the back of your card and then save it, just click more and accept. Now it's doing all the contacting of and verification of your card, so let the system do it. Once it's successful, you get a prompt saying that choose how you'll verify. One good practice is to input your phone number for the verification and then wait for a while and you'll get a notification for that verification code. Input that in, submit, you'll get a notification from your bank saying that you have successfully added your card to the Google Pay. And then that's it. All you need to do now before you board the train, just whip out your phone, unlock your phone, and then tap it on the EasyLink terminal, and then walk in, and that's it. Well, I think this is the shortest video that I've ever done so far. Well, congrats, achievement unlocked. Well, I hope this has been helpful for you guys. Well, I think the EasyLink card is gonna be phasing out very, very soon because of all these technological advancements. You've got to love technology, and of course, you've got to love Google. So guys, that's it from me. I hope this has been useful to you. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and if you want to be notified whenever we upload new videos, do hit the bell notification icon. All right, that's it. Have a good weekend. See you in the next video. Bye.